Have you ever felt like you're playing poker with the IRS and they're holding all the aces? Picture this, a world where every move you make, every penny you earn, is watched. A world where a single slip, a mere oversight, could cost you not just thousands, but your peace of mind. Sounds like a thriller, doesn't it? But this isn't fiction. This is the world of taxes. Now I've seen it all. From the high rolling gamblers of Vegas trying to write off their losses, to the small town folk for getting their garage sale earnings. And let me tell you, the IRS, they've seen it too. They're like the ever watchful eye, always on the lookout, always vigilant. But what if I told you there's a way to navigate this treacherous terrain? A way to not just survive, but thrive in this high stakes game of numbers and laws. Today, my friend, we're diving deep, deep into the heart of the tax world. This part of my life is called paying taxes. If you didn't pay them, the government could stick their hands into your bank account. And I'm going to share with you the secrets, the tricks of the trade, the things they don't want you to know. You see, we've all heard those stories, haven't we? Tales of folks getting tangled up with the IRS, losing sleep, losing money, all because of simple, avoidable mistakes. And it's easy to think, that won't be me. I've got it all figured out. But the truth, the truth is, it's a maze out there. A labyrinth of rules, regulations, and red tape. Stop down, that's my grandmother! Get it out, kid! We're just doing our jobs. What are you talking about? Grandmother hasn't paid her taxes in over a decade. What? But here's the thing. Every maze has a way out. Every puzzle, a solution. And that's what we're here to find. The way out. The escape route. The path that leads to financial freedom and peace of mind. So, where do we begin? Let's start at the very foundation. The cornerstone of our tax journey. Reporting income. Now I know what you're thinking. I report my salary, my wages. I'm good, right? But it's not just about that paycheck that comes in every month. It's about every little penny that finds its way into your pocket. Garage sales, freelance gigs, that $1.50 you won in a bet with your buddy. Every single penny. It all counts. And the IRS? They're counting too. Next up, deductions. Ah, the sweet allure of deductions. It's tempting, isn't it? To claim this, to write off that. But here's the catch. You've got to know what you're entitled to. And more importantly, what you're not. It's a fine line. A delicate balance between claiming what's rightfully yours and stepping into the danger zone. And then there's the ticking clock. The April 15th deadline. It looms large, casting its shadow over us all. But here's a little secret. If you're not ready, if you need more time, all you've got to do is ask. File an extension. Buy yourself some time. But whatever you do, don't. And I mean don't. Let that deadline pass you by without taking action. Nicholas Wilde, you are under arrest. Felony tax evasion. $200 a day, 365 days a year, since you were 12. Now I could go on and on, unraveling the mysteries of the tax world, sharing tales of triumphs and tragedies. But we're just getting started. This is just the tip of the iceberg, the opening act of our tax saga. So stick around, my friend, because we've got a lot more ground to cover, a lot more secrets to uncover. And trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. Now, as we journey further into this intricate maze of taxation, it's crucial to remember that knowledge is power. And in the realm of taxes, this power can be the difference between a hefty refund and an unexpected bill. So let's arm ourselves with the insights that can transform our financial futures. One of the most common pitfalls I've seen people fall into is not understanding the difference between tax deductions versus tax credits. While both can save you money, they operate in fundamentally different ways. Deductions reduce the amount of your income that's subject to tax, whereas credits directly reduce the amount of tax you owe. Think of it like this. Deductions work upstream, affecting the river's flow, while credits work downstream, directly impacting the final outcome. But let's not get lost in the jargon. Instead, let's focus on some practical steps. First and foremost, always keep immaculate records. Every receipt, every invoice, every financial transaction. In the digital age, there's no excuse for being disorganized. There are countless apps and tools designed to help you track your expenses and income. Use them. They're your first line of defense against potential tax pitfalls. Now let's talk about the big one, self-employment taxes. For those brave souls who ventured into the world of freelancing or entrepreneurship, this is a beast you must tame. 
Unlike traditional employment, where your employer handles a portion of your Social Security and Medicare taxes, when you're self-employed, that responsibility falls squarely on your shoulders. But fear not, for with this responsibility comes opportunity. The ability to deduct certain business expenses, the freedom to structure your finances in a way that benefits you most. Embrace it, and you'll find that self-employment taxes aren't the monster they're made out to be. Speaking of monsters, let's address the elephant in the room. Audits. The mere mention of the word can send shivers down the spine of even the most seasoned taxpayer. But here's the truth. Audits are rare, very rare. And if you've been diligent in your record keeping, honest in your reporting, and proactive in your approach, even an audit becomes just another step in the journey. Remember, the IRS isn't out to get you. They're simply doing their job, ensuring that everyone pays their fair share. Now, as we continue our tax odyssey, I wanna share with you a few golden nuggets of wisdom. First, always seek professional advice. Whether it's a certified public accountant, a tax attorney, or a trusted financial advisor, having an expert in your corner can make all the difference. They can provide insights you might have missed, strategies you hadn't considered, and peace of mind that's worth its weight in gold. Second, stay informed. Tax laws change, regulations evolve, deductions come and go. By staying abreast of the latest developments, you position yourself to capitalize on opportunities and avoid potential pitfalls. And perhaps most importantly, remember that taxes are just one piece of the financial puzzle. They're a tool, a mechanism, a means to an end. By understanding them, by mastering them, you empower yourself to build a brighter, more prosperous future. A future where you're in control, where your financial destiny is dictated not by chance, but by choice. Remember, in the words of the great Benjamin Franklin, in this world, nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes. But with the insights we've shared today, you're better equipped to face the latter with confidence, clarity, and conviction. If you like this video, you're gonna love the one suggested on your screen. So go check it out now.